Now, with those long lines of COVID testing sites, many people are resorting to over the counter home test kits. Health experts, of course, tell us the standard is the PCR test, the most accurate when it comes to detecting COVID. But what about those rapid antigen tests that are being used again at home and in many of the pop up testing sites across the state? Nikki Schenfeld has more on that. Tests like this can be bought at drugstores and taken from the comfort of your own home. Several people I spoke to did just that when they thought they had COVID like symptoms. Their test results came back negative with this, but they followed up with the PCR test. And that confirmed they did have COVID. All tests have you know a false positive rate and a false negative rate. Uh, and it's something to to bear in mind uh, that you you can't put your faith uh, in a single testing. And when you get tested matters. Some COVID positive residents didn't know they were positive because an at home test told them they were negative when they first had symptoms. So I had two um, rapid at home tests. And what's interesting is on day one of my symptoms, I didn't test positive. But a few days later, luckily I had a second test and I um, did test positive and my partner tested positive on his test as well. Another resident also got a negative reading and ended up hospitalized when his symptoms got worse. Well, it's, it's putting a lot of people's lives at risk. Doctors say at-home rapid antigen tests found at drugstores are good for consecutive testing every other day at places like schools, which can help detect a potential outbreak. It's only valid for 12 hours, maybe 24 hours, and the next day you could be positive and you could be shedding this virus. According to the FDA, molecular tests like PCR and nucleic acid amplification tests don't require a follow-up test because they're highly accurate. The FDA says antigen tests are highly accurate if positive, but negatives may need to be confirmed with a molecular test. The tests are used at Aloha Stadium. The health department says if a person tests positive, they undergo a second test to make sure. Dr. Miskovich hopes the state can ramp up testing. At best, I'm seeing we're doing 8,000 tests across the state in a day. We should be over 20,000, probably closer to 25,000 if we want to get this under control. Nikki Schoenfeld, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.